up guys, Samir Trudy here, IBB212 Pro. I just got back to Dubai from a trip in the US where we did the GASP and Better Batteries Iron World Tour. Uh, I spent a month in the US and uh, now I'm back here in Dubai and I'm gonna start my prep for this season's competitions. Uh, my first show will be a show in uh, Ireland, hopefully, in 13 weeks. And I didn't compete last year because of the corona and the year before 2019 wasn't really a good year for me so so 2021 will be i know people don't like to use the word comeback but hey let's call it a comeback <laughs> See how the legs look. We're here at Binus Gym today in Dubai. I'm going to train some legs. So I'm just going to see how they look 13 weeks out. And then we'll compare them in 13 weeks again. Leg extension is because I have two herniated discs in my back, so I don't start with any compound movement like squat or anything. I try to exhaust, pre-exhaust my legs, so that when I go to the exercises that also put some pressure on my back, my legs will already be a little bit fatigued, so I don't have to use that much weight. So I start with a leg extension, then I do a seated leg press. Might do like a hip belt squat or something like this to minimize the pressure on the back. And then a hack lift and then some lunges or something like this. So I split front and hamstrings in two different sessions. So today is a quad day to so do on the front. Oh, my God. 
I'm trying to bring back the tights fashion for men. So this exercise here is a seated leg press, which basically puts no stress on my lower back and my discs. Uh, since the pressure will be directly through the legs and the, low, uh, the back will be straight up. So there is no pressure on the spine coming from above like with a normal squat or leg press. And, uh, even the leg press is where you're lying down. Puts a little bit of pressure because at the end of the movement you will automatically bind your bend your back a little bit. This is a great exercise if you have an imbalance between right or left leg. Since you're training them separately. You can do them both together at the same time, but they will still be training separately. Since it's a, a unilateral movement. And when I got my herniated discs, I got some sciatica problem with my right leg. So for me this exercise is very good. Because that way I can focus on training the right leg. Because if I do like a normal leg press, the the, the, the strong leg is gonna compensate for the weak leg. So here I can't do that. Here I have to work also with the, the weak leg. So this is a perfect exercise if you have an imbalance.
Alright, so this exercise here is a hip belt squat. Uh, so instead of having the pressure on your back from above on the on the on your spine, uh, you're actually having the pressure just around your hips. So this actually stretches your back instead of compressing it. So it's not just that it doesn't do any harm, it actually does good. So you actually stretch the spine, decompress it, give some more room for the discs between the vertebrae. And I found that wearing a belt under the belt actually helps because of if you don't do that, this one will cut into your hips and legs. I tried towels, but the, wearing a belt underneath is actually what works best for me. Good thing I didn't eat too close to the workout, so I would have been throwing up. <laughs> Leg workouts, I try to eat like two or three hours before. And very small meals. Because if I eat too much, I'll, I'll just get sick. I was going to say something funny. I'm actually a funny guy, but I can't even talk now. That was the warm up. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so we did three exercises leg extension, uh, seated horizontal leg press, single leg, and the hip hop squat. Uh, three sets to fail in all of them. So that's nine working sets to fail. I think we go outside, fresh air, and do some hack lift, and then finish off with walking lunges today. So another two, two exercises. Let's go. Okay, so now we're actually outside. This, this is the, the new extension of the gym. 
We just opened it last week. So you have boxing, MMA fighting inside. Also a World One shop. And they're gonna open, I think Starbucks is gonna open there. And here is the outside gym. And now in the winter, it's amazing. It's honestly colder outside than it is inside. Which is very rare to be UAE. done three exercises so my legs are already pre-exhausted so I don't have to use that much weight on the hack lift which is good because the pressure is coming from from above on my on my spine so I'll just minimize the weight that I need by doing the other exercises before Usually I take longer rests between the sets. <laughs> so I blame this on you, Tarek. <laughs> Actually, I was the one who was licked.
What's up guys? We just finished uh, a great quad session here at Binu's gym in Dubai and uh, I want to thank you all for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me on Instagram. My handle is Samir Tree and uh, uh, I'm 13 weeks out now from uh, my first uh, show this year and we will do a, a few more videos like this uh, on the way there and uh, let's call it a comeback.